What's up everyone? So today we're going to try something cool. I don't know how well it's going to look. We're probably not going to get enough light, but we're going to try to see some bioluminescence in Florida tonight. So my roommates have a boat and we're going to try to take it out. You might not ever see this video if it's not good enough, but my roommates are getting the boat ready right now out there. So we're near uh, Satellite Beach, Florida, and this little canal area is known for having a little bio bioluminescent bloom during these hotter times of the year. Right now it's uh, towards the end of July. And so what is bioluminescence? It's this light that is given off by this organism called dinoflagellates, a dinoflagellate algae or plankton. They release this light as a kind of like a protective mechanism. It's supposed to get other predators to go away because it's a bright flash of light. Uh, you might have commonly seen this in like breaking waves or people kayaking. We're going to be in a boat. We're not going to be in a kayak. You could go do paid kayak tours where they have a clear bottom on the kayak and things like that. But we're not going to be going that crazy. Today we're just going to see how it is tonight. So how does it work? Uh, so the way this works is dinoflagellates. Again, it's a eukaryotic organism, single-celled organism. And it goes through a simple enzymatic reaction. So this is actually visible metabolism at play. So what happens is there's this protein called luciferin. Uh, and then there's an enzyme called luciferase. Luciferase breaks down luciferin, producing light. It also requires a little bit of oxygen to go through this process as well. Now these enzymes vary from organism to organism. Uh, but So jellyfish also have something similar. Uh, fireflies do something similar where they emit this light source. And that light source is actually a byproduct of this enzymatic reaction. So maybe we'll see it tonight. Uh, so we're going to be getting around here and should be heading out soon. It needs to be really dark. Luckily, there's a new moon this weekend. So if we're going to see it, hopefully it's this weekend. If not, we'll try again later. But we'll see how this weekend goes. All right, I'm gonna go give them a hand now, and we'll be back later if it is working. All right, see you soon. Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, oh, check that out. Come on, you gotta be able to see that. There you go. That's as bright as it's gonna get right there. <laughs> So this is called bioluminescence by an organism called dinoflagellates, uh, or also they're known as plankton. They're single-celled eukaryotes. Let's see, maybe you can see it on the side of the boat there. Man, it's so cool. I wish you could see it. Let's see if I can... Uh, Look at that, look how awesome that is. So those are all single cell microorganisms just releasing a light reaction. Yep, so they're, yeah, kind of like magic. So there you can see it a little bit there. It's actually this protein called luciferin, like Lucifer. Um, so it produces this light source and there's an enzyme called luciferase, which converts luciferin in the presence of oxygen to luciferase. And then the reaction, it releases energy, and this re energy is in the form of this light. It's actually a preventive mechanism um, for predators. It's supposed to scare predators away. So, like, a lot of different organisms have developed bioluminescence. Uh, like jellyfish, fireflies, these dinoflagellates here also have developed it. Now, the luciferase and the luciferin proteins are slightly different from organism to organism, but it's cool to see this little evolutionary hallmark that has shared some divergence, well, convergence and evolution through different organisms. All right, here we go, we're moving again. Oh, you probably could see it again. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's not like the craziest stream ever or my typical content, but I wanted to do a little educational piece on bioluminescence while out here. So if you guys have questions about bioluminescence, definitely let me know. You can barely see it. Oh my gosh.
some better lights so I'm in my car for the goodbye hope you enjoyed that I need to check the footage so if you're hearing this that means the footage was good enough to become a video I was really worried that there wasn't enough light to see it but we'll see what happens and I think it's gonna look really cool now no video does this justice you want to try to find a way to see it in person but I'm happy that I can share it with you it's just amazing when you're out there you can actually see like individual fish swimming away from the boat because it lights up the dino flagellates around it. Yeah, so I was happy I got to share it with you and I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit about bioluminescence, dino flagellates, plankton, and how they thrive in the warm summer waters in Florida. So yes, today we we're up in Satellite Beach and if you get a chance, come check it out. There's some kayak tours out there uh, up in Merritt Island area, but it's just in this little central region here where the water doesn't move as much back in these little canals. And that's where we were today. We got to check it out, and I hope you get a chance to today. But if not, I hope you can enjoy it through this video, and I can bring it to you. But with that, that's all I have for today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.